Hello again, Steve here. I want to show you how to make a taker mean. This is a simple toy that I used as a kid. Oh, put many miles on these things. And they can be made quite simply with just trash wood, basically. All of this stuff is just toss away wood that I got and a few screws. Basically, all that it is is this is a piece of 2 by 2 You could use anything. This is 2 by 2 happens to be. And it's 17 inches wide. These wheels on the end, they're just a piece of 3 quarter inch plywood, which I cut out with um, a circular hole saw. But you could use a, you could, you could always put a, a lid of a, of a peanut butter jar or something on your wood, score it out, and then cut it out with a coping saw or something and then sand it. That's all I did is I sanded it when I was done. And these are screwed in here with just a, um, short leg bolts with a washer, but you can put any kind of a, of a screw in through there. And basically this here is a piece of scrap wood. You can see that this is what it came from. It was rough like this before and I sanded it with my, my belt sander. A little bit, just a little bit. And it's cut on an angle because when this sits, when that sits level, the thing is up at, at kid hand height, right? At the other end. And this here, it's a regular screw, but I pre-drilled this so that this pivots. Right, this pivots here. And then this is the steering arm. I, because it goes on an angle, and this is quite light, rather than bevel this, I beveled the actual, the axle. And once again, pre-drilled that hole so that, the, so that the screw isn't tight on this piece of wood, it's tight on here, right? This is loose, loose on here and tight on here. Same thing on the other end. I just made a little handle out of the same wood. Once again, you could use a piece of hockey stick or something like that, but I just used scrap wood. And I just cut a piece, oh, I just guessed how long it was, and I shaved it down so it fits the hand. It's got a hand held, hand hold on it. And once again, pre-drilled this and put a short screw so it doesn't come out the bottom. Same thing here, short screw. And same thing here, I made a little bit of a, of a handle grip on it. So now, as you can see, it's hard for me to do it here, but you can see that the wheels roll along quite nicely on the ground and in order to steer it you just simply pull from here and it turns right and it's lots of fun I used to spend hours and hours and hours on this thing as a kid so I just thought I'd make another one for a demo that I'm doing tonight you know it took me heck it probably took me about an hour to make it and I had to sand all the scrap wood down you can still, still see it's pretty rough Right, it's, just, it's, a, it's a sliver magnet. Let's just put it to you this way. So that's the taker mean. Sitting there loud and proud. And I haven't made one of those in, wow, many, many years. Not since I was a young teenager. And the term taker mean, I don't know where it came from either. But we used to say we'd taker mean. And we'd run, we'd put these things through, through mud puddles. And we'd turn the wheels and we'd see the, the mud and the, and the water furrow sideways. And we'd spin our, spin our hind legs as we went along and we shifted with our voice and our whole work. So I just wanted to demo that. Lots of fun making it once again. Maybe the last one I'll ever make, but anyway, it's pretty cool. Talk again soon. Bye for now.